So in today's class, we're going to be learning how to play 1B3. So if you like this video series, if you like the way that I describe it pretty fast and pretty straightforward, give me a like. Make sure you subscribe for more content and here we go so we're gonna go into 1b3 what does this move do so we're doing a fee and kettle system right and the fee and kettle system is basically attacking from the side and so what we're trying to do is we're gonna to try to get fast development of um, our bishop here to try to attack this long diagonal and so the main move is e5 and after here knight c6 okay so this is the, basically the main move so you kind of have to see how white is going to progress here and sorry you have to see also how black is going to progress so you play e3 you don't play a committed move like knight f3 because you have to see where they're going to develop their knight if they develop their to f6 right now we are going to pressure the position with bishop to b5 taking here and then also taking that square because this bishop is attacking Juan. right we take away the defender we're removing the guard bishop takes on c6 d takes c6 and bishop catches e5 thank you for the pawn easy game easy life the best move here is actually bishop to d6 and after this we're going to play either knight to a3 or we can play takes here first and depending on how they capture let's say they capture here then we play knight e2 and we can go for a d4 setup c4 setup and we have bad pawn structure for black next let's say they don't want a bad pawn structure let's say okay they foresee that and they play here now we have a very interesting move so there is knight e2 here um i've also seen queen h5 in some lines after bishop c4 but that's not the topic of this video um knight e2 and the idea is that maybe we want to push d4 so let's say they play uh, a move like let's say f6 try to prevent here knight b to c3 and after let's say a move like d5 then d4 bishop e6 um, and then we can just play e4, which is actually a really nice move, or d4, or queen d2, sorry, and getting ready to castle queen side. And now we have developed mostly all of our pieces. Our knight um, is probably going to go to here. We're also looking to play f4, and if they push here, then obviously our knights are better in closed positions. We're going to be able to move uh, this knight away sometimes, and if you want, you can actually play g3 here, castles this way and the main break is going to be c4 so it's all up to how you want to play and let's go back let's say they don't play here let's say they play something else let's say they play uh c5 right and now we can just follow the same thing one we can even transpose into a b3 sicilian playing here if not we can just play bishop b2 uh let's say they take the center with this and now after knight f3 or f4 actually f4 transfers transposing into a bird we can actually just play knight f3 here e6 d4 and get into uh the collie system which i have a video about so go ahead and check that out but uh yeah for anything other than e5 you're going to go into this and then when they play e5 they have that kind of like two um system plan so if they go here here and if they play d6 here um then i think we can secure a nice little advantage either with c4 or even playing d4 and striking the center remember when your opponent does not play the center it is your duty to play in the center and black has not done so he's played only one move in the center maybe you know here or knight c6 let's say they play knight c6 first and then on e3 they play d6 now the move very very simple move knight here and the idea is to play d4 very quickly and strike the center i hope you guys like the video and i hope that this repertoire can get you out of the opening very quickly and so that you don't get into trouble and you can actually play the actual chess thank you so much make sure to like and subscribe if you like the video